everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jolie Flips Vintage and I am your host, Samantha. So I sound a little congested because I think I'm coming down with a little something, but I'm trying to get this video in before I lose my voice. We are gonna go to World Thrift, but I'm on break being a full-time daughter with my dad who is still in the hospital. He will be released in just a couple of days. So he's having a, just a couple of setbacks, but he is doing just fine. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, my dad did have a kidney transplant. They called us quite suddenly and uh, we rushed over there and he uh, seems to have, be doing fine. Great team at Memorial Regional in Hollywood, Florida. Very, very happy. So let's head over to World Thrift in Lake Worth, Florida and see what we can find to Jolie Flip. Let's do it. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. It's very uh, breezy outside. I love that for Florida around this time of year. Um, it took me about an hour to find parking, you guys. <laughs> It is Wednesday. I did forget that on Wednesdays, most of the colors are on sale. All right, so they close at six. So have a few hours. So I do the sift thing where I just take it in my hands and sift and just look for quality. None there. None there. This one has cool, kind of an Asian flair. I gotta get my nails done. Don't mind me, you guys. I have, oh, this is really pretty. I have very long pearls already. This one feels like quality, but I'm, I don't know. I don't even know what the colors are. I'm not really digging that one. This feels like quality too. It's like amethyst. They want $10 for it. Hmm, I don't know. Think about that. These are the long necklaces. And they have some of the shorter ones here. This one's kind of nice definitely costume but it's got this side butterfly and all the stones are there that's only $4.99 just kind of reminds me of Heidi Douse if you're familiar with any of her stuff someone donated some butterflies because here is another one with a cross on it looks like something from Claire's there's a manatee that is not real. I, I sold one that was carnelian like this. That's plastic. This is probably glass. Oh, I don't really like it. Just sifting for quality. Let's see. This is kind of cute. Kind of. Not too exciting. Oh, this is nice. Abalone inlay. This might actually be silver. Let's see. You want $10 though. But you know what? Oh yeah, it says Mexico Taxco. But you know what? That might be worth the pickup though. That is probably worth the pickup. So let's see. This looks like stone also. I hope you guys get to see it real good. This is glass, but I don't like it. Those elves are kind of fun. Not my favorite. No. No. Kind of art deco-y. Um, I see Millie Fury. No, I see Cloisonne. If I can get it out. See, it's attached to something else. So, Ah, it's like all attached. Okay, all right. I just want to see it. This has some Cloisonne on it. I really like that. See it? Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's a ring. It's got some kind of enamel thing going on I don't understand it I like it though isn't it kind of cool hmm oops I dropped it it's enamel I don't understand the bottom two stones you know I don't know maybe it's not very great um I see people being mean to each other down there. All right, we're done here. Let's head on down at the bottom if we can get through all these people. All right, this is kind of cute, you guys. This is kind of weird. It kind of looks like cut to clear, you know? 
I wonder if that it's supposed to look like cut to clear. I really like them. I know they're not... Sorry, it's because there's my purse, so I get paranoid. How are you? There's three, so we'll take that. This is some kind of uh, mold. See the mold line? Carnival glass. But you could just see the glass in between. Like it's like flash colored. It's not very well done. $7.99. It's not a desirable color to begin with, so I'm not gonna go there. This little vase, however, is kind of neat. Somebody's white hair on it. <laughs> Ew. We want it without that. Is it Avon? No, it's a cool little bubble uh, vase. $1.99. I'm gonna grab that. So it looks like it's 75% off of yellow, um, white, and blue. So you can see why people are here. Yellow, white, and blue, 75 off, and 50 off. Oh, well, it's specific. There's specific things. And 50 off of blue also. Uh, specific things. And then 50 off of red. Okay. So that's, like, really good. <laughs> but, like I say, I almost never pick up things that are on sale. <laughs> but, okay, let's head over here. We just escaped the chaos. Made in China, but those are cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Anything different? One eight hundred flowers. Look at this. Teleflora gets me every time, kind of like Avon does. It's probably a sake thing. This is Studio Pottery signed Lisa. I always find them signed Lisa. It's very strange. I don't know if she's like a local artist or something. Uh, let's see. There's a bottle here. Cobalt blue bottle. Kmart. Still cool though. All right, so there was a blue one like this, and there's an etched green one, which I kind of dig. It's six dollars, but I think it's I say something was half off for of six. I just love the green so much. I think so. Of uh, red, it's red. I think it was half off of red. I don't remember anything. <laughs> See what it says after that. Yeah, so it's half off of that. So it's like three bucks. I think that's a cool pickup. I think this is, is this is the Anchor Hawking Company. I'm gonna pick up the green one because I don't have any of the green ones like this. I know they're pretty common. But I don't have any of the green ones. There's some kind of studio pottery back here. Ooh, Barbados. Oh, I just love the um, sign on it and it's half off. And ooh, look at the palm trees, coconut trees. Is that glass? Yeah, it's newer though. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go back. I know I do this a lot. I skip. This is hand painted. Really neat. Made in India. $14.99. Uh, I'm not gonna pay $14.99 for that. I don't recall there anything being off of green. This is kind of weird. It looks like a disease. It looks like it wants to be crystalline. This is awesome. Might be old. I'm gonna take that too. I just like the, the yellow. Then there's these. I don't know how popular the avocado is anymore. I have this in milk glass, but I don't think they're that popular. Um, lots of green. Um, studio pottery planter here. Sussex Pottery, Boulder, Colorado. It's nice. Yeah. I'm gonna be a little picky. I'm not really looking entirely at the uh, figurines, but kind of grazing. Never know what you find. It's cute, he's resin. There's some kind of, yeah. Is that glass? Yeah. This is, I thought so. No feels like it, but it's not glass. Okay, that's glass. That feels modern, yeah. Marshalls, here's some cool um, carnival glass. Ooh, this one's nice, $5.99. That's a different type of marigold. See, love the swirl. I'm, I'm getting like Italian vibes from that. Really kind of digging it. 
this one i'm not sure it has a cool etching on it though but i don't really want it i'm looking for real different things this is nice looks like wood but it's glass eh. these are nice handmade for traditions there's millie fury in it i looked these up before there's three of them probably the reason why they're still here is because resellers have looked that up and they're actually she made in china and they're not the best quality oh this is cool signed 5.99 for that hmm pottery signed okay all right let's take that this too is whoa signed i don't know what it's signed it's just really cool glaze but it's 20 bucks no discount maybe when it goes for sale goes on sale what is that ambient what does that say mouth blown handmade made in germany it's be half off of that uh i don't really like it look at it no this planter has some kind of scene on it a uh, man fishing in the woods for 2.99 but it's um resin it's just cool though okay Let's see up here there's some cool stuff here ruth <laughs> claire de lune kind of clown like I'm willing to pick up. This is kind of cool. Um, it's a music box. I wonder if this is worth anything. Like I'm willing to pick up figurines if they're worth something. This is broken though. Oh, okay, so I just ran into my best girl who stocks our shelves so beautifully. She's so great. Look at this clown. He's nice. He's got a yo-yo or something. I don't like him. It's kind of weird. I think he's quite old, so $2.99. I haven't, I used to not pick up, um, uh, you know, clowns, but then they started getting popular. And I know, I know my past videos, I'm always like, I never pick up clowns. I won't, but I should learn to never say never. <laughs> What's this guy? He's a uh, sponge holder. Um, there's this studio pottery. Not signed anywhere, but it's nice with the flower. Only $3.99, but we shall leave it. What are these about? What is this one about? It feels like milk glass. It is. Is it missing a lid? Is this anchor hawking? Oh, it's chipped, but I'm curious about it still. So it's half of $3.99. It's got Scandinavian looking birds, but it's chipped. So we're just going to pass on that. What about down here? Satin glass there. Ray Dunn. I don't really pick up any more. There's a chip bowl. And then there's this. It's kind of nice. With the green glass. And the pewter something. Half off. Hmm. Like I don't need it. I'm looking for like really exciting pieces. It's a crimp bowl. Some things I'm sure y'all would pick up. Uh, if you see me not picking up, I'll try to remember to explain to you why I'm not. This is EO Brody, a brand that does not sell well. Um, I think generally, I don't really know anyone that sells EO Brody for a lot of money. Look at these birds. It's very cool though. I love fat birds, but these are <laughs> very modern. Oh, look at these pears. Also very modern. They're really nice. They're made to look Scandinavian. Uh, Scandinavian oh, vintage. This is Klesene and um, not the good kind. Like it's made in India and it's chipping off. And they want $7.99. But half off of that. This is probably Greek pottery. It's an ashtray. Or, oh no, it's a... Uh, Sienna, oh, oh, is that chip? No. So I, I think it's Italian, right? I sold a pitcher with that. 
I don't know how well the ashtrays sell. It's probably good. But I don't really want it. But somebody should pick that up. That is really cool. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Little cat ring holder. Modern, but really cute still. Um, this cat's cute, but he I have left him behind for it because of the chip on his ear. In the past, he's still here because nobody wants him with the chip in his ear. <coughs> Not very good studio pottery. That bunny is kind of cool. This is probably a mold. Um, AC Moore, made in China. This is cute. Good for Easter. Tanja, X-U-E. You're welcome. I'm gonna leave that bird. Oh, this is cool. It's a dry flower paperweight, heart paperweight, $2.99. And this Lalique looking thing is not a Lalique. It's not signed. It's still cool though. They want $30 for it. Is it Lalique? I mean, it would be signed, I believe, that they sign all of their. I believe that Lalique signs all of their glass. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. Could be wrong. Okay. This is cool. Oh, I knew it. I was like, this is something I've seen before. <laughs> yeah, it's Aura 4. And that's worth the pickup for $4.99 because some Aura 4 sells, some doesn't. This one might. Oh, can I have this? Yeah. Gracias. I like it. Okay, this is really nice. Even though it's it's for candles, but I just like it. It's got Mexican flair to it. 3D imaging. Oh, it just came off of a cart. Fresh cart. Um, it's kind of neat. Right, let's keep going. The texture on this face is really weird. I like it. But it's strange. It's $1.99. I'm gonna leave it, but it is really cool. And it looks kind of old. See, if you're over here, you guys, and looking for fairy lamps, this is going to be the section that you're going to look for it. Um, all the way at the end, by the mirror where everybody changes. This <laughs> is $14.99. I don't see any right now, but the candy dishes are cool. They're kind of pricey, and I don't need any more candy dishes. But I mean, if you do, this is where you're going to find them. So we're going to go on the other side now. This is like a pottery cup, which I would have picked up, but I noticed the big old chip there. They only wanted $1.99 for it, and I found it right here. I'm just going to put it back. Oh, I don't know if I can put it back without it breaking. Let's see. I hate the way they're put here. Is that milk glass? No. That's Man, M-A-N-N, -N, another company that I don't do well selling. I'm always going to tell you the companies that I just haven't been able to sell well, and the ones that I have. And that's just like my opinion. It might be different for you. Um, and I always, oh, that's uh, reverse flash, whatever it's called when they paint on the back. And I always like to hear what sells for you too. I mean, let's have a conversation. I like it. Okay, let's see. I like the blue on these long mugs. Spectrum, isn't that Dollar Store? Dollar Store gets me sometimes. Sometimes they have really cool stuff. That guy looks weird. <laughs> Soval, Artesania. Oh, I don't usually pick up cups like that, mugs like that, but I mean, let's look them up. All right, um, always check the handles too. Make sure the handles weren't repaired. I've learned that the hard way many times. Butterflies, bet you it's part of the butterfly um, necklace lady. What am I looking for exactly? What is this? Dansk. Oh yeah, Dansk could be a company that's very valuable, uh, especially plates. Actually stoneware plates with the raised lip. Uh, turquoise can do really well. The turquoise pattern. I'm gonna pick this up for $3.99. Uh, I'm sure it's missing 
other pieces maybe but it's a mug with a lid on it and people tend to really like that you know so particles don't go in <laughs> look at these really pulley cobalt blue glasses wow i did not expect them to be that lightweight when i picked it up <laughs> what's this mexican pottery oh the flower is nice i don't like the rough texture though i like it when they're glazed Okay, this would be a nice pickup if there was more than one. These sell really well. Um, I think these are carnival glass, maybe? Um, oh, these are nice. I don't know, they have little uh, chips on the top. There's three of them. Saw something here. There it is. Um, Cornyware. $3.99. I feel like that was, I felt like that was like a Disney thing. From a Disney movie? The bird? I don't know. California pantry. And there's art. Studio pottery here. Now, I might not pick this up because, oh, it's signed. Hmm. Oh, it's missing a top, which I'm kind of glad. I don't really want to pick up any more teapots. I mean, I'm not really glad because somebody else could have picked that up and enjoyed it. I'm always looking for Florentine boxes, and this might actually be one. Um, let's see. It might be modern, too. It's a little jewelry box. I don't know if it's inlay or just, like, painted. It's not bad, though, for $2.99. We'll get that. I spotted this, and I you know it's $24, but it's half off. But, oh, it's really neat. Hold on, let's see, it's very heavy. Oh, made in China. It's nice though. It's really heavy. I don't know. Uh, let me think about this piece. It's so heavy, I can't even begin to describe. Okay, let's see. It's like a telephone trinket box. cool though it's different like it what else oops <laughs> made in italy oh and it works but i have some of these already here's a butterfly box part of the butterfly lady collection <laughs> oh that's kind of neat Okay, Rhodes Grease. Those don't really sell a lot for me, but it's half of $4.99. It's kind of nice, though. But I'm going to leave that. I don't really... not really interested in it. Ooh, look at this. It's a crackle dish. That certainly does... A uh, crackle little pitcher. It certainly does glow. It does glow. Samburina. And it's $3.99. Pick that up. There's this. $2.99. Country Ritos made in Ireland. Just a creamer though. Okay. Can look around here. Amari. Look at this. Panama. Painted, two ninety nine. It's really scuffed. Got to look through the plates. You know, I don't really like to myself. <laughs> if you're thinking, I don't know. I don't know. Some people like it, but I've found some cool stuff here before. Things that don't belong in the plate section. this blue that's so gorgeous calyxwaria singapore bird if it was a set that'd be cool this is kind of neat it says dd i don't know how old it is it's different though isn't it how, is it really old pretty old. It's like weird flash 
colored and not very attractive, I'm gonna be honest. And when you really look at it, potpourri, crackle potpourri dish. It's so kind of whimsical. It's pewter, spread your wings, believe in miracles, live life fully, share your heart. Words, great words to live by. This is like an anniversary dish. What is this one? Felt like a Tiffany. Oh, Upper Something Country Club. I kind of like this bird. This is a candle holder. Fits and Floyd, 1981. Half of $7.99. It's pretty chipped on the tips. Look, big one right there. So, but he's so neat. Maybe someone can overlook it if they just want to, you know, decorate with it. Cute little, kind of like a little fairy lamp. I don't know. Nothing here at the bottom. I grabbed this um, weeping gold base out of a fresh cart because although I stopped picking up weeping gold this one looks very different doesn't it so nice it's only $2.99 so okay we'll give weeping gold a chance what is this Nicholas old Saint Nicholas Nesco does it work it does stained glass screen I kind of like it for $1.99. Look at this pottery owl. <laughs> or, no, what is that? Like a frog? Is he chipped? No, I don't know what he is, but I love him. It's only like $3.99. He's not cracked anywhere. It's kind of weird. So you can use him as a lantern. You just have to string something. See, so he has a hole. I think it's cool. Oh no, look. Yay, Florentine. Yay, for $1.99. Awesome pickup. Those things are getting so expensive now at antique malls. This kind of looks like Laurel Birch. I don't think it actually is, but it's cute for 99 cents. It's painted wood. All right, let's look at the little figurines here. She's got black um, pottery. Oh, here, she's even signed. Half of $3.99. Oh, she's kind of cool. Let's get her. Commercial Bank of Ethiopia. Wow. Oh, look at this box back here. Yes, is it a box? Yeah. Replica of the first money chest, 1834 Bowery Savings Bank. Okay, sounds good. Half of $4.99. I like this chicken. Oh, guy fell. But I think it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. It says Italy. That's really too bad. Oh, is he really broken? Yeah. He's really broken. It's so sad. Okay, so I would pick up this kitschy clown bank, but he's repaired and it's hard to resell that. So, all right, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. So everyone's just kind of looking along with me and then we're gonna move along. There's some pears that are like Kwasane pears. But I believe it's much like the, you know, made in India. They're kind of neat though, aren't they? There's two of them. I don't want to pay $3.99 for each one though. Little mini vase for $1.99. Hand painted mini vase. Okay. And then, wow, that's really heavy. <laughs> so it could be used as a paperweight. It's $24.99. There's a food dog. He's resin. This creepy cat with like marble eyes. But, oh, wait a minute. 
stamped something made in Portugal. Oh, Colaca. He's kind of cool though. Ooh, I bet you his eyes glow. Let's pick him up for half of $7.99. Oh, look at this. this is... Okay, I'm about to have a heart attack. I'm gonna have one. You guys, this is Raku. That's Raku pottery. Oh my god. It's $5.99. Please don't be cracked. Oh, this is worth a lot of money. Oh, it's not cracked anywhere. I mean, of course it's cracked because that's Raku, but. Okay, let's freeze for a second. This is artist signed within the vessel. I did bring it over to my antique mall where I get things kind of verbally appraised. I don't really pay for it. And I was told that because this was a designer piece and a unique piece, and if it is who the appraiser thinks it is, it is worth well over $700, if not in thousands. So we just have to do a little more research and I will keep you up to date with that. That is insane, an insane find. See, we can't let the secret out. We can't let people know where Raku is because that is an incredible find. It's an hourglass. Oh my gosh. This is probably looks like Horton Hears a Who. I don't really like that. Oh, so adorable. Resin. Oh, look at that. It's different. So go made in the Philippines. What do you do with it? Does it hook to anything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, what else? Let's see. This little hammerhead. I want to get this thing, but it's like resin. It's so cute though, but. Oh my God, I really like that. But that's 50 bucks. That's a bicycle planter. You could put the plants on the top and the bottom. I totally picked that up. I had my own garden, but I don't. I see something over there. I gotta get it. Okay, so I got it. <laughs> and I'm gonna look at it. Looks like it's probably, is it a bird feeder? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it's chimes, but it's really cute for five dollars. We'll get that. It's okay. <laughs> this one has a sticker on it. Golden Crown Belgium. The half of twenty four ninety nine. I don't know about plates though, guys. I really don't know. People tell me not to pick up plates. <laughs> I don't want to pick that up. This is nice. Is there only one? 99 cents. It's crystal. It hurts my fingers. Therefore, it is crystal. <laughs> I think so. Let's see if there's another one underneath all this. Oh. So mid century modern. Uh, I don't know if I should pick that up, too. Let's see. I'm looking for the other shaker. No. Disney cups don't sell at all. I think there have to be like specific ones, but um, they don't for me. Look at these. Come on. This might be really old. Nah, really good, only for $5.99 each, so let's grab both. I'm gonna bring it to my cart. Someone's trying to get through. I'll show you what I have. I have to make sure they're good. They have some like paint loss pieces, but they're they're good. There's no repair on this one. Well, they're gonna break the longer they sit here. I'll tell you. I will tell you. Let's hope there's none here. No repairs. These are really good. All right, five ninety nine each on those beauties. And I'm not even someone that picks up antiques usually. <laughs> I usually stick to like mid-century modern stuff. There's this cool footed bowl here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Viking glass. I don't know though. It's nice. And I'm gonna leave it because I don't know. I don't know who makes that. Um, I really want to get through over there, but 
I'm gonna try to be patient because I know it's Wednesday. We're over at the plastics, but I noticed this. Wow, there's that probably the Greek thing again. Yeah, what handmade? Yeah, and roads. I mean, it's this one's good. It's half of twenty, therefore it makes it ten. I don't know that I want that. Then because of that, this is melamine made to look old and crazed? Okay, so let's see if we can find anything in the metals. Not really. It's a nice dish. International silver plate. Okay, so I found this. It has some oxidation, things like that. But it's a cool stand and it's art nouveau. It's half of $7.99. I like it. I get it. I'm getting real good stuff today, I think. I found these for $2.99 each. Which I think is a good deal. I mean, they're a little worn, but $2.99 each. But this one's a little bigger. You know? I think those are good. I see something. This is cool. With the tile. And that's $2.99 also. Which I love. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like any of this stuff? You want some? Just let me know. <laughs> Jolie Flips Vintage. Uh, you can message me on our website, of course. Um, I'm a little slow in posting things on our website right now because my dad's in the hospital. But uh, if you see anything you like, just let me know. Um, at JolieFlips at AOL.com. This says Canada Pewter Stain something. It's kind of Art Nouveau also. But, and it's half of $9.99, but... I believe it. These are hand painted birds. Um, let's see something here. Is that dogwood? Uh, no. Let's look inside the utensils. Oh gosh. It's going to be one of those days where I have to go get my car because I parked so far. <laughs> and certainly, oh, this is so dangerous with the kids walking around. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to go get the car. Because I'm gonna buy a lot. What's up with this dude back here? There's a bottle. Creepy and lightweight. Okay, there's a cool pottery piece over here. Look at that. Look how that's made. It's $2.99 and it's not chipped anywhere yet, so let's rescue it. Look at a little ladybug on it. Oh my god. Oh no, I have to get that for $2.99. So whoever made that, wow. So great. You get to hang out with my Raku hourglass that I'm so damn proud of. Florida plates don't do much for me anymore. Girlfriends. So hand painted. Leslie painted glass. Kind of nice. See a couple things here. Saw that old bottle, liquor bottle. I have enough of those though. Okay, I like to dig through here. Oh, this is a nice glaze. Holy modern, I guess for sushi, right? This would be great to pick up. Just get some chopsticks. And I saw the little sushi dish, the little uh, soy dishes over there. What is this? Something just ca called to me. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that color is great. So it's half of $12.99. Okay. Beautiful. Asian. And I see this. $7.99. It's modern though, but it is uh it is Italian. Which is cool. It's a cool pickup, but I want like truly old stuff. <laughs> wow, look at this. Is this Tillowitz hand painted. It's really pretty. I don't want to pay $8 for it though, although I'm sure it's well worth it. 
Uh, but I'm a reseller. So. <laughs> oh, it's a mouse. Dreaming of cheese. It doesn't sit properly. Um, kind of. See, it's kind of molded weird. Ugh, I can put that in a project piece. So cute. A project piece, a project. Yeah, a project piece show. I want to do a um, hobbyist show on whatnot or knickknacks where we saw only things that are project pieces. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's hand painted with the butterflies <laughs> made in Japan. It is $7.99, but she's really beautiful. And I think I can do, I could probably get about 20 for her. So get her. Oh, look at these little teacups. They're hand painted and just gorgeous. Look at it. And do I want to get in the mix of teacups though? Not this, no. No, oh, this dragonware. No, I'm just gonna move on. I've gotten burned before with the teacups. This is kind of neat. These are all milk glass. They're uh, anchor hawking. I wonder if they're worth anything. One, they're $3 each. So really they're $1.50 each and there's a whole bunch. It's one, oh wait, that doesn't belong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe they're worth it, but I'm just gonna leave it. I have enough plates, but that's a cool find. There's some kind of, oh, um, is this old? Milk bucket? No, I made in India. Made to look old. Look at this. Dear Cass, happy birthday. Love Margie, Jack, and Ryan. I love the rooster. $2.99. It's probably on silk. It's nice. We'll get that for $2.99. Of course. Um, oh, look at that. Um, I don't like the light colors. I like big, bold colors. Let's see. Have a nice poop. Are you kidding? <laughs> so I'm going to skip this, although this is really nice. I don't think it's old, but I hope someone picks that up. And there's this. Nina Lyman. Is Nina Lyman popular? Dogs by Nina Lyman, $2.99. I mean, it's kind of cute, so let's get it. <laughs> Why not get everything in the store, right? This is cool terrain, $14.99. Thought it was old. It's not. It looks old. Um, this is a cool mug. All right, we're just gonna go back over to the pottery and see if they put anything out again. The other mugs, made in Korea, 1997, with the birds. Oh, I actually just found this. Whatever this is. Just Fake slices of oranges. <laughs> it's like a whole tower of fake slices of oranges. Oh, this I think is Akkam, like a Turkish glass vase. Uh, there's a lot of wear on the paint, or I think I would pick it up. Um, it's $3.99. It's cool. Lots and lots of wear on that paint. That's what that is. If you ever see it. So I'm back at the pottery to see if there's anything different like this. That is actually fabric. It says made in China, but I mean, it's really nice. $4.99. Wrapped fabric. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I like that. That's very kind of 80s, right? Oh, I love it. Okay, let's get that. Um, I do pick up Chinese pieces if I think, like I said, if I think they're well made. That's well made. What else did we miss here? Oh my gosh! You guys, is that the sit-ins? Yeah, look. Oh. Oh no, 
know. I think these are, remember Sid something I picked up. If you watched one of my recent videos, it was like Sid Dickens or something. I think these are um, supposed to be like them, maybe. They kind of look like that, but these are cheaper. Anyway, the Sid Dickens, I think that's what they're called. Those are worth a lot of money. This is not. All right, let's look at this. This is brass. Oh, Nate Burkis. Aluminum. Okay. This is Alexandra Porcelain. All right, let's look at this. It's hand painted. It is gorgeous. It's $5.99, but it's like kind of messed up here. It's like bruised and cracked, so I'll leave that. Oh, there's a glass. Oh, we. We gotta rescue him before he gets broken. His ears are really pointy. We gotta get him. He's gonna break. Let's get him for $3.99. I like this little vase. It's super cute. It has sunflowers with smiley faces on it. It's only $3.99. They're so cute. It's really adorable. Let's get that. All right, so I just grabbed this right off the cart, you guys. So neat. $1.99. It's good. It's a swung vase. It's thick. Like I've never seen them like that before. All right. Let's see. I guess we'll stick around a little longer. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. You guys, this is cool. It's a Ponsettia candle by Delicates. $7.99. Let's look that up. And they're not selling for more than like $15, $17 online. So <laughs> believe it. Uh, but it's a cool concept. I feel like my, feel like my mom would have picked that up because um, she likes poinsettias. If it's going to be, if it's going to be, it's up to me. Oh. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's like a whole shoe. It's, I've never seen them like that. Fourteen ninety nine. Is there anything missing? Yeah, part of the ore. Aww. I think I would have picked that up because it's so weird. Oh, it's too bad. I'm trying to stay away from porcelain anyway, but I would have picked that up. Definitely. It's cool. I like this. Made in China. This one. This one might be very old. It's $12.99. Let's look that up. I see some selling for $12.99. And it says rare find on Etsy and two and two in carts already you know but i'm gonna leave them for 12.99 i think it's a lot made in china it's a little crown all special look it's a pin cushion for 199 let me open that that's kind of neat well it looks like someone made it but i like it again a project thing we'll get that okay i just grabbed this little fish out of a fresh cart I think he's great for $3.99. I like the little eyeballs. His eyeballs are intact on both sides. So I see a couple more fresh carts. And I think that'll be it, y'all. Okay, guys. So I grabbed a couple of clown stuff. This is like a tumbling clown for $2.99. It's got a sticker on it still. He's pretty old. Put that in the kit show. I grabbed this one. It looks like he's broken his hand. But it's not. It's just when they shoved the umbrella in it. Just cracked a little. But see how it doesn't go through. So I'm okay with that. He's made in Mexico. He's really cute. Love the vibrant colors there. I found this picture frame that's slowly mid-century modern. $3.99. Back works and everything. That is gorgeous. I found this one for $3.99. He's cool. He's got some paint wear. Inesco, and he's got his original sticker. And we have a Fontanini one. Oof, he's creepy as hell. This one I'm gonna probably put away he's ten dollars so and then i also grabbed this one this is a trinket box that's footed it says Honenberg, germany five dollars i really don't know about this one i think i'm gonna put this one away and the fontanini clown. all right guys so i am gonna go ahead and check out if there's anything here that you saw me purchase because I will purchase all of these. I looked them up along the way. They all seem to be worth it. Um, yeah, just let me know at Jolie Flips at AOL.com and I will let you know the price of things and I will send you an invoice. 
through PayPal and we'll go from there. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this exciting adventure to World Thrift yet again. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye. Oh, before I head out, I wanted to show you this. This might be vintage, but there's damage on it. It's a lampshade. These could be worth a lot of money. They're shell. I would have been $14.99 half of that, but there's some damage on the top and some cracks on some of the shells. But they're very lightweight and they're very fragile. So fortunately I'll leave them, but they're that's a really pretty lampshade, isn't it? <laughs> and I also found a king size afghan with a pillowcase for $39.99, which I think is worth the money. I'm going to pick that up also.